Welcome back everyone. My name is Davin Reddy. The only thing which is constant in the world is change. And being in technological world, this thing is changing very fast, right? Technology is changing very, very, very fast. In fact, technology has changed from a long time, you know. And as a programmer or as, in a as a technical person, we do change. Example, when Android came into picture, in fact, why, what Android, when year 2000, when everything was changing in web world, we as human, you know, we started to, we started adopting it. We started changing our skill set. We started new things and the pace of technology change was less. So we were trying, we were able to adapt that. And then when Android came into picture, people from web development, they shifted to Android because it was a new thing for them. And mobile was able to capture some market from web world. So people started moving from web to Android. And it was a new thing, you know, working as a mobile developer. It was awesome thing at one point. So it was year 2007 when people started moving to Android. And by 2009, everyone was an Android, you know. Uh, so everyone started learning Android. So people were able to update themselves. And then in 2010, somewhere when big data or 2012, when big data was emerging, so people started learning big data, you know, they started learning Hadoop, they were working on this big concept and everyone was happy. You know, people were moving to it. Now, people who were having previous skills on the enterprise market, maybe Java or .NET, they were able to find big data a bit easier to work on and it was easier for them to shift. So it, everything was going good. And suddenly we have this IoT concept and people who were interested in embedded programming or embedded systems, they went for IoT. But now the, the thing is, things are changing very, very, very fast. And with the advancement in AI and machine learning, and we have this concept of cryptocurrency, things are changing very fast. Now, the only concern which I have is, can we adapt that as, I mean, as, a, as a technical person, as a human, can we change ourselves so fast to adapt those things? And even if you want to shift to those places, is it the right time? In fact, before that, let me tell you why this video is important for me and why I'm doing this. You know, I was, uh, I was going through some articles and I went through this article of BitTorrent. Now, Two days back, BitTorrent got sold to Justin Sun. Justin Sun is a founder of Tron Foundation, so they work on cryptocurrency. Now, it's not just a cryptocurrency which they are working on, they are also working on a decentralized internet. Again, there are a lot of companies they are going for that. It's a new concept basically, it's not that new, but in the, what do you say, in the technical world, people, in the business world, it's very new. I came across this concept when I was watching uh, a sitcom which is Silicon Valley and in that, in that series they were talking about, uh, you know, uh, they were having this uh, Pied Piper as a company and they were talking about this stuff which is uh, new internet. They wanted a decentralized internet and I, was, I thought, you know, it's an awesome concept. But then when BitTorrent was sold, you know, it's, it, things are getting very serious now because if Justin Sun is investing such a good amount on BitTorrent, that means they are going towards uh, this awesome concept of decentralized internet and people will adapt that for sure. In fact, uh, the, the company like Amazon, Google, they are dominating market, right? They are capturing everything. So decentralized internet will be the next big thing. And the advancement of Blockstack, where they, it is actually live now. It's not that you have to wait for multiple years. It is already there. So we have this new internet. In fact, I made a video on this before, uh, two days back and I was quite, quite happy with it. Now, uh, when you talk, to, talk about AI, I, I, was, I, I know AI is the next big thing, right? People are very excited about it and it will change the way you work. But think about this. See the advancement now. We were thinking AI will take maybe next three to four years to come into picture, come into picture, and then I you know it will change the market. But businesses nowadays they are already using AI. Google is using AI for their inbox. If you if you have seen the new inbox of Google, Google is using. In fact, Alexa, Amazon, they are using AI. Apple, Siri is AI. But now, in the medical field, I mean, everyone was know, everyone was knowing AI will dominate medical field. But look at this article. Google Healthcare AI, which is an AI model for them, and it is able to predict the death risk more accurately than hospital. Now, this is amazing, you know. Uh, as per a stats, hospital can predict the death risk 
86% and Google AI can predict 95% accuracy. Just think about it. So we are doing some good advancement in the world of AI, in the world of, uh, with, with, with the help of Google. Now this is towards the health, you know, and for sure, if this, this comes, if this is implemented properly, it will change the way you work. Now, of course, with this, we have some risk. The risk is, uh, you know, to, to predict something, you need data, you need huge amount of data. And are we preserving, preserving data? Of course not, uh, especially in some countries, it's not available. But countries like US, they manage their data, you know, if the patient records are being maintained. But the only problem, the there are two problems to it. The first problem is, are those data accurate? And the answer is no. Not everyone keeps the data which is accurate. Maybe if you visit multiple hospitals, they will have their own data. And they, we might be able to merge them, but still it will not be accurate. And to predict someone's, you know, to help some, someone in the medical field, you need accurate data. That's the first problem we, have to, we are facing. The second problem is, who will have this data? Who will manage this data? Is it Google who will be having the entire data? And just imagine if Google has your medical history. I mean, just think about it. They, they might use it for their commercial use and you never know, you know. And it might be biased. The, the algorithm might be biased or it may be faulty. So it is risky, but let's see how thing goes. The second article which, which uh, you know, caught my eye is NVIDIA uses AI to create convincing slow motion video. That means if you want to make a slow motion video, normally let's say if you make, if you take a video which is 30 frames per second, and if you want to make it slow motion, you need to add more frames. Normally in some mobile phones, in fact now all recent mobile phones, we have this slow motion effects, right? They capture more frames. But what if you have a normal video example, this video, this is not a slow motion video, this is not a normal video, right? Now can you make it slow? Of course, you need to add some frames and that's where the AI, so Nvidia is working on their AI which will add frames. Not, not the perfect frames, but then, you know, somewhere you will get accuracy. So if it is, if AI is getting implemented in the medical field and in this field, it can be implemented in business as well, right? And it's already there. But think about this, how fast things will change in the industry now. And then the third one is Facebook. Now Facebook has, they're working there. So their research department is working on new thing, which is, you know, normally when you take selfies nowadays, or if you have multiple people who take selfies, there might be some accidental blinking, right? And Facebook AI can put a fake eyes. Now, okay, so the important thing from this is again, they will be implementing it or not in, in future, that's a different thing. The important is AI is getting implemented in multiple fields. It's time for us to upgrade. I'm not saying, you know, some if you think this is the right time to learn, maybe it's not, not the right time. It will take maybe two to three years. But when? Because AI is not something you, you can learn in six months. It's not something you will learn in one year. It takes years, right? Because you need to change your mindset towards AI. It's not just normal programming language. It's all about mathematics, algorithms, predictive analysis. There are so many things involved there. And same goes for this Web 3.0, which is decentralized internet. It, it will change the way you think about technology. So I would say you need to start from today, you know, may, may not be uh, focusing fully on these technologies, but having your, you know, so, so let's say uh, 100, out of 100% of your brain, you can put 10% on this technology every day. So that maybe in future, if things are changing very fast, because this change is now exponential, it's not linear growth, it is exponential growth. Maybe next year, there might be a lot of vacancies for AI and at that point you need to be ready, right? So that's the main idea from this video. Try to update yourself, you know, from today about AI. I'm not talking about only AI and decentralized internet. There are so many things. So try to explore like IoT, big data and cloud services. You need to upgrade yourself. Don't stick with old technologies like fighting for the languages, uh, databases. Those are, those are what you say basics. It's time to learn new technologies. Uh, so that's it guys, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Click on the like button if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.